So this is day one of my four day, three night excursion of the northeast of England. Day one, which is where I am now, in Bamborough. I'm stopping at YHA Berwick. I'm going to Dunbar for the famous Bridge to Nowhere excursion in, into Edinburgh. I've got set abs on the list and a few other places. Now I'm usually very stubborn, I would usually be out there taking photographs but I'm going to resist the temptation because there's no rush. So the rain is due to end, depend which site you look at, at three, two, between two and four o'clock. Good man, pulled up, ten minutes, he was out. We've got his lint hood on, plaggy bag as a rain cover. Good man. I'm being such a sodding wuss. I can't wait any longer. I'm literally going mental <laughs> sat in this car. It's drizzly. I'm going in. The car park where I'm currently stopped is a long strip of a car park near Bamber and it's full. And they're all watching the beach with binoculars. So if I go flying on my uh, Derriere, <laughs> it will be embarrassing. I'll stay down there till they've all left and then sneak back up. Let's go. Them situations where you think I might just be playing bloody stuff. There's a tiny break in the rain and I thought I'm out of there flying down here mindful that you're slippery as chuff. Got a composition. Fall over. Just using. Don't fall over. Them tiny rocks there. There's a bit of foreground. The curve leading into the castle. It's nothing special. In fact, there are, I've just seen there are three. There are three rocks there, but trying to get the composition right is it's quite difficult. She moved left. The castle's not in the correct place and the rocks themselves you've got a very light, they've got a big one and two smaller ones. There's far more seaweed than I recall being here. But I'm gonna keep going round oh there's some crashing waves behind me. I'm gonna keep moving round but it isn't as bad as it was so it's it's some fresh air. I wanna get up there onto that ledge there and shoot down but I'm just not happy going on seaweed especially on the first day. So, try to get a bit of light on my face but there is no. There you go, there's the castle, there's the rocks, leading you through that little gully there. Who knows, might work. Got back. Glad they went out there. I always thought as I walked up the little incline back to the uh, row of cars, they were all going to get out and start clapping me. On the plus side, I didn't fall in. On the downside, so problematic photographing in the rain. Especially when you want to use filters, and I did want to use filters. Because you're cleaning your lens and your filters all the time. Even though I was hunched over my camera and lens while I was setting them up. I got my tripod set up, and I put the camera on, and I put the filters out. I think the last shot might be half decent. I would have liked to have spent more time composing it. I would have even liked to maybe have tried a bit of focus stacking because I was on F16. I think I may have focused a bit too close to the uh, the foreground. So I don't think the castle will be as sharp as it could be. 10 to 5, what to do, what to do. I think I'll check the weather. No. I'm going to head off to the youth hostel, get myself checked in. I'm hoping it's gonna stop raining, which it's forecast to do. A tiny bit more contrast in the sky would be epic. But according to the forecast, it's gonna get better, which is preferable to it starting off great and getting worse. So I'll sign up for there. See ya.